Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, welcome to another review with Worker Man's Vape Reviews with Nate. Uh, today I am very excited to be bringing this review to you. Uh, this is Epic Cloud's 60 mil e-juice line. Uh, and, you know, I, I vape, so you can see I have, you know, shitload of e-juice. Um, and there's not many e-juices out there where I try them and I'm like, holy shit, this stuff is incredible. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, however, this line is one of those times, and I can honestly say that I have probably tried well over 100 or 200 different e-juices in the year or so that I've been vaping, uh, maybe more. Um, and out of that time, I can say that I've tried maybe uh, two or three juices or juice lines uh, where I was like, holy shit, this stuff is incredible. Uh, and, you know, to be honest, this juice makes me feel like one of the apostles of Christ. I mean, I just feel like I need to just go out and tell everybody about it. Um, it's absolutely amazing. Um, let me also say, so I was provided this stuff for this review. Uh, however, that does not change my opinion one bit. Uh, I can honestly say I feel if anybody um, digs one of their, pl their flavor profiles, uh, and you say, wow, that sounds like something I'd, I'd, I'd be into, I'd like. If you try it, I can almost guarantee that you will not be disappointed. This stuff is absolutely incredible. Uh, let me take a vape off of it. Uh, right now, I am vaping uh, probably my favorite, uh, which is the Mom's Pineapple Cake, which is a pineapple upside down cake. Let me take a, uh, take a vape. And this, uh, all of these are definitely Max VG e-juices. Uh, say, so they would be more uh, uh, apt for drippers. Uh, however, my best friend uh, primarily uses tanks, uh, and he has vaped all these and loves them as well. Uh, and he has used them in his tanks with no problem. Uh, so anyway, let me take a vape off this. As you can see, great uh, cloud production, very dense, rich vapor uh, with just incredible, incredible flavor. I was watching a review the other day, um, and this reviewer had commented on, on some juice that he was, uh, uh, it was the Don on YouTube, and he was doing a review for, for a certain juice, and he said that he just stares at the bottle and wonders, how did they get this flavor into this bottle? And I could say that's a great, uh, uh, way to describe this juice. Uh, this pineapple is absolutely unreal. Uh, my background professionally, you know, I don't get paid to do these reviews. I'm fairly new to YouTube. My professional background, uh, I went to culinary school. Uh, I've worked at, you know, top restaurants all over the country from Alabama to Vermont to Oregon and California uh, and in between as well. Um, so I, I consider myself, you know, kind of savvy with, with, uh, with different, you know, food and, and flavor profiles and I consider myself to have a good, uh, 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 good palate. Um, and this stuff is just absolutely incredible, uh, absolutely incredible. Um, one thing, you know, one of the juices that, that, that just really, really just blew my mind, the pineapple, you know, I've, I've tried so many different pineapple juices. And, you know, companies would say pineapple upside down cake, and I taste it, and I'm like, oh, it tastes fruity, and I taste the baby, but I don't really taste pineapple. This tastes like straight crushed pineapple. I mean, it just, and, you know, you have some juices where they're subtle, and you vape them, uh, and you think, oh, I can taste it. There's a hint of it. That's not like this. This is like a slap in the face of pineapple. I mean, it's a super, uh, uh, uh a pungent, very flavorful pineapple taste. Uh, so anyway, uh, what I was going to say is the donut pounder is is the I think the first one that I tried, and it just blows my mind. I've tried so many different donuts out there, glazed, uh, e juice. Um, I don't know, just you know, a shitload of different donut e juices. And I grew up in the South in Alabama. And I grew up with Krispy Kreme donuts, if, if, you know, you guys are familiar with that. And I grew up, and I could easily, you know, you go to Krispy Kreme and the donuts are hot, you could easily take down a dozen. They're warm, they melt in your mouth. Um, and this, 
and to me, it doesn't get any more spot on than this. I mean, it's just absolutely insane. You get, uh, see that catch? Uh, you get, uh, you know, you get a little bit, it's, it's complex for a donut flavor, it is complex. You get a little bit of maple, you get vanilla, you get brown sugar, you get the, uh, uh, I was talking with a buddy about it, and it's almost like it's a cake donut, I would say, but then you also get the glaze. I mean, it's, it just doesn't get any more spot on. If you're a donut e-juice fan, this is what you need to get, the donut pounder. Uh, so anyway, let me uh, let me take another vape, and I'm just going to kind of go over some notes that I made for the uh, for the review. That uh, stuff is so good. Uh, what I'm vaping on today, I'm using the uh, Home Record Box Mod. I'm using it at 80 watts with the Kennedy 24 RDA. Uh, and I have a 26 gauge twisted parallel, dual parallel build, uh, which is great for flavor. Um, any, any twisted build, in my opinion, is just great for flavor, especially uh, 26 or 28 gauge is phenomenal for flavor. Uh, so let me go over these notes. Uh, let me say also, you'll notice my shirt, my Grim Army shirt, uh, this was provided by them, uh, uh, by uh, Epic Clouds for this review. Uh, they also, I had reached out to my local vape shop and I told the owners how good this stuff was uh, and they were nice and the company was nice enough to send me a little thank you note and they sent me a couple extra bottles of my two favorite flavors which was the donut and the pound cake. Uh, let me say that I have vaped, um, I think 180 or 240 mils of this uh, pound cake, or, I'm sorry, of the uh, pineapple upside down cake and the donut in the past 30 days. So a total I vaped 500 mils of these two juices in the past 30 days. Uh, and I vape a lot of other juices. This shit is bomb. I mean, it is so, so fucking good. Uh, so anyway, they also sent me this hat, which uh, Grim Green is my favorite reviewer out there. Uh, I watch almost all of his videos, his vlogs, and I commented to uh, to the uh, representative that I was talking to, I said, hey, I like that hat. I always see Grim Green wearing it, and she surprised me and sent me the hat as a thank you. Uh, so anyway, let me let me go over this. So this is Epic Clouds. There's seven different flavors. Uh, it's their 60 mil line, and it is owned or produced by a company called Pure Backo. Uh, the name Pure Backo, uh, the CEO is a guy named Daniel Walsh, uh, Walsh who's been with the company from the beginning. Um, and the name Pure Backo comes from, he wanted to create a line of e-juice that would not have the tar, the chemicals, or the chemicals and the carcinogens that nicotine and, or that other uh, major cigarette brands and e-juices had. So it came up with Pure Backo. Uh, uh, they also are one of uh, very few uh, e-juice uh, companies out there that uh, produce all of their juices in an ISO certified lab, which helps uh, uh, ensure quality and consistency with all of their juices. Uh, that's not something they have to do, that's something that they choose to do, which is, is awesome. Um, the company is out of Gaylord, Michigan, uh, and they are one of the top three uh, e-juice companies in the nation uh, of uh, producing uh, uh, they're one of the top three producers of e-juice in the nation. So they make a lot of juice. Uh, so it's good to see, some, you know, there's companies like Cutwood out there. And to me, you know, honestly, Cutwood is shit. I mean, it's, you know, I, I've tried just about everything that they have. And I have a couple bottles of it over here from when I first started vaping. And I still have them. That was almost a year ago, if that tells you anything. Um, but they're, you know, in my opinion, they're garbage. They were just garbage. This company is probably on the same level or close to it as Cutwood, and their stuff is top-notch premium e-juice. Every single flavor is, in my opinion, just amazing. Even the flavors I don't really care for or the, or the flavors that are not my cup of tea, I could still vape them and say, wow, this is really good. Um, so anyway, uh, they have... Um, uh, juice, they have e-juice being sold in 
nearly 700 retail locations across the country. Uh, so if you you know you can't uh, uh, you have trouble getting it online, you should be able to find it at a shop, a brick and mortar near you. Uh, they have four different lines of e-juice, uh, and like they said at the beginning, this is an ad that Grim Green wears, and I'm wearing the Grim Army T-shirt. Let me take another beat. So good. Uh, let me also say, so when I took this to my uh, local vape shop that I hang out at, the most consistent word when people were tasting this juice, so it wasn't a word, I guess it was, mmm, mmm, mmm. Somebody take a vape and you just hear, mmm, afterwards. Uh, it's just so good, that's all you can do is just say, mmm, mmm. It's just, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, so anyway, there's four different types of uh, different lines of e-juice that they have. There's the Flavor Z line, which is their flagship line, which is a 50-50 PG VG blend line of juice. Uh, then they have their Epic Clouds, which is their, I guess you could say their economy line, which is their 60 mil line. Uh, and these are all, they retail for 25 bucks, which is an absolute steal. Uh, and you know, I, I hate calling it a, a economy line because these are, super premium juices. I mean, they're absolutely incredible juices. Um, so they have the Epic Clouds line, uh, and then they also have the, the uh, Grimm KVLT line, which is Grimm's line. Uh, I have tried one of those. I would like to try the rest. Uh, the one that I had was great. Uh, and those are, I believe, for the most part, a 70-30 VGPG blend. Uh, and then they also have the Namber Juice Originals, which is a Max VG blend. And I'm kind of confused as to whether the Namber Juice is its own line or if this is part of the Namber Juice line. Uh, but it, either way, there's three or four different lines of juice that they have. And they also uh, annually will release some seasonal blends as well. Uh, so the, the idea or the uh, uh, creative... Uh, platform in which they created these juice is very innovative. Uh, I don't think there's a lot of uh, companies out there creating their juice in this way, uh, but they have a flavor creation team, if you will, uh, that's made up of a, uh, a uh, there's a professional chemist, uh, there is a master herbologist, uh, an experienced flavorist, I'm not sure what that is, and a essential oil specialist, a herbal alchemist and a chef, uh, which is what I am, a chef. I went to New England Culinary Institute. Uh, but with those five experts, that's how they make up the different flavor profiles for these uh, juices, and that was definitely a great idea. Uh, and with all of the different juices, I think that uh, Nick Green, Grim Green, uh, was helping... Uh, uh, review the juices before they release say, hey, this is good, or this needs this, this needs that, or that's perfect, whatever. So I think Nick was helping along the way to make sure that these are what the consumers would want. Uh, and he got it spot on, in my opinion. Um, I found out about this juice. I was watching one of Graham's reviews. I watch every single one. I subscribe to his channel, which I hope you subscribe to mine. Uh, I was watching one of his reviews, and he had a bottle, which I've seen a few times in the background of his videos, of the pineapple cake and he had mentioned the juice and I said wow if he vaped that must be really good uh, so I reached out to the company and they were nice enough to send me this and I'm not a big reviewer I don't have hundreds of thousands of subscribers or views I've only got a couple thousand views on my channel and like 30 subscribers so uh, it was very very nice of them to do this and I appreciate them su uh, supporting me somebody that's new into uh, reviewing uh, so anyway um, I, I really like the I dig the way that they create these juices. Uh, let me also say whether you're a you know these are Max VG, so these will definitely produce the uh, clouds. As you can see, uh, but they're also great. I mean, they're incredible flavor. I consider myself definitely more of a flavor chaser. Uh, but whether you're into clouds or flavor, this is the juice for you. Uh, so their number one bestseller is the 
uh, donut pounder. Uh, this is how they describe it. Uh, it's a cinnamon glazed donut. Um, and like I said, when you bake this, for me, I get a little bit of cinnamon, uh, cinnamon a little vanilla, I get hints of maple. Uh, um, so yeah, it's almost like uh, if you take a, a, a warm Krispy Kreme donut, if you've ever been there, uh, they melt in your mouth. You can literally take the whole donut and just put it right in your mouth. It just dissolves right in your mouth. Uh, that flavor that you get when you put that donut in your mouth, that's what you get with the donut pounder. Um, that's what I've got in here. I mean, it's just, it's amazing. Uh, amazing, like I said, the vapor production off this stuff is great. If you're a cloud chaser, this stuff is it. Uh, the next flavor I will do is the uh, pineapple, uh, Mom's Pineapple Upside Down Cake, which is the uh, flavor that turned me on to this company. Um, this is something that Graham Greene always has in a lot of his videos. Um, they describe it as the perfect Mom's Pineapple Upside Down Cake. Simple description. Uh, it's right on point. Uh, if you want to see what this tastes like before you buy it, go to the grocery store, buy a can of Dole's Crushed Pineapple, and drink the juice out of it. That's what you get with this. Um, it's just a straightforward pineapple flavor with a very subtle, um, uh, like yellow cake uh, underlying tone. Um, this is a flavor that just gives you like a punch in the face pineapple flavor. Um, you know, there's a lot of e-juices out there. There's another e-juice that I'm about to review, which is the Taken 3 from Five Ponds right here. Uh, and they also have a pineapple upside down cake, uh, and it's really good. The difference between these two are is this is a like unbelievable fresh pineapple flavor. Uh, the other Taken Three is just more subtle. Um, honestly, every other pineapple juice I've ever tried, I don't taste pineapple. Uh, this is one of the only juices I've ever tried where you get it and it's unmistakably fresh pineapple. Um, and you know, it also gives you a subtle hint of, uh, you know, if you may, if you ever made or seen pineapple upside down cake, when you bake it, all the sugar from the cake mix, you put the pineapples on the bottom of the pan, put the cake batter on top, and bake it, and the sugar from that cake batter kind of caramelizes around the pineapple, and you kind of get that sweet. I would say you get that sweet caramelization flavor a little more than you do the cake flavor. Uh, but either way, it's just, uh, if you're more into fruit and not baked goods, you'll still love this. I mean, it's just a great, uh, true pineapple flavor. Uh, the next one that I will mention uh, is my third favorite. These three over here are my favorites. Let me put my, my Grim Green Army hat on here. Um, so the uh, next one is the caramelized banana. Uh, like I said earlier, I'm a chef. I went to culinary school. Uh, I, for the past almost 10 years, I've been working as a server just because the bartender and the money's a little bit better. I work at a, at a five-star white tablecloth place right now, and we have a Bananas Fosters on the menu. Um, I would say that this reminds me of Bananas Fosters. Uh, you know, Bananas Fosters is basically butter, brown sugar, liqueur, and fresh bananas, and that's exactly what this tastes like. You get the banana, but you also get the rich, thick caramel flavor with it. Um, when you caramelize something, basically caramelization just means uh, that when you saute it or bake it or whatever, you're bringing out the uh, natural sugars from whatever you're caramelizing. Um, and that's what I get with this. I get the thick caramel with the banana. It's just a perfect match. That's why Bananas Fosters has been around for hundreds of years, whatever, however long it's been around. It's been around for a long time. Um, it's a great, great flavor combination, and they hit it on the head. Uh, I gotta say, you know, I feel like I'm, this is kind of a gush fest, but these guys have really just nailed all of these flavors on the head. I mean, they taste, the way they describe them is what they taste like. Uh, so next we'll do the Cardamom Crush, uh, which they describe as a strawberry pink champagne. Uh, you can't really see this bottle um, because it's black. Um, another thing with the bottles, they are, they have, uh, these are six, they're all 60 mil bottles and they're childproof locks on top. Uh, 
take it off and it's got a little needle nose dripper so it's great for dripping uh, i love these bottles i have a buddy that doesn't like them i love them uh, i think they're great to carry around in your pocket they're tall they're slender they're just great um, but uh you it's it's a dark black clear plastic so you can actually hold it up to a light and see what you have left uh, anyway i have vape i you know i said at the beginning i'm not really a fruit fan with vapes uh, I'm more into the baked goods and stuff like that. I've vaped almost this whole bottle, and I have shared a little bit with friends and stuff, letting them try it. But to me, it says pink champagne. What this reminds me of, if you've ever seen the uh, the Welch's sparkling grape juice, uh, they have white grape, regular grape, and sparkling. It looks like a champagne bottle. If you could imagine that with strawberry, that's what this tastes like. You get the effervescence. You get the somehow they get the bubbly carbonated flavor into this it's it's really it's really amazing um it's just different uh it's unlike anything i've ever had if if, if you like strawberry vapes and you're just kind of getting burnt out on the strawberries and cream or the strawberry milk or whatever um give this a shot this is the epic clouds cardamom crush uh it's something different and innovative and that's what i like to see myself just because there's so many different e juice companies out there they have the strawberries and cream and just the regular run-of-the-mill strawberry e-juice. Um, so they have that one. Then they also have another strawberry. It's called Strawberry Circus. When I first heard about this line, let me take a vape. Uh, when I first heard about this line, I saw this flavor description. I honestly thought this would be their best seller. Just because everybody, you know, the consumer vapors love, everybody loves strawberry e-juice. Um, but this is the Strawberry Circus, and what it is, is uh, they describe it as candied strawberries with marshmallow undertones. Um, how I would describe this is, uh, if you can imagine taking a uh, like strawberry shortcake, uh, fresh strawberries, a little bit of water, a little squeeze of lemon juice, uh, some brown sugar, some regular sugar, a little vanilla, that down on a pan let it get really nice and thick and syrupy and throw some marshmallows in and let that get melted into it that's how i would describe this uh, it tastes like fresh marshmallows not candied marshmallows you can almost taste the seeds in it if you know what i mean like it just tastes like real strawberry it doesn't taste like uh any candied strawberry or you know uh, it just tastes like real strawberry uh everything every flavor that they have um, with exception to the oasis mist which is the one that i will do next um, is just spot on i mean and the only reason i'd say the oasis mist let me do that one next so anyway the uh, strawberry circuits if you like strawberries and cream or strawberry candy juices uh, strawberry shortcake anything like that strawberry circus is great uh, my best friend has made me promise him that bottle. I may be a little bit of an Indian giver and just give him half of it because I, even though I'm not a big fruit vape fan, uh, I, I do really, I drip that every once in a while. I like to take a little drip here and there. Uh, but anyway, uh, so the next one is the Oasis Mist, and they just describe it as a, uh, a tropical fruit mix. Uh, and that's the only reason I say that this one isn't quite spot on. Because there's so many different fruits in it, you can't really pinpoint each individual fruit. Uh, to me, what this reminds me of is like a Hawaiian punch or some type of like tropical fruit punch and drink. Uh, and that's just not my cup of tea. I'm just not into fruit vapes. I like dessert vapes. I like baked goods, stuff like that. Um, just the fruitier ones are just not my cup of tea. Uh, it is good, and the way they describe it, spot on. I mean, it tastes just like a tropical fruit punch or something. Um, so the last one that I will do um, is, and I think I'm going to make a, a video just for this juice by itself. I remember when I had quit uh, smoking cigarettes, uh, I smoked Newport's full flavor menthol for 23, 24 years. Um, 36, I smoked when I was, started smoking when I was 11 or 12 years old, and I just quit about, almost about a year ago. Uh, and when I was first starting to vape, I was looking for a good menthol vape, and I couldn't find it. I tried a bunch of different ones, and it was either like wintergreen, or it was, you know, just not, I just couldn't find what I was looking for. 
Um, this, what Glacier Banana is, it's, an, it's a mixture of banana and menthol. And, you know, when you say that, you think, wow, that's disgusting, that sounds weird. Let me tell you, it, it actually, um, they complement each other very well. Had I been able to find this when I first stopped smoking, this would have been my e-juice, my go-to e-juice when I had just first quit. The, what I ended up doing when I first quit was I was mixing my own, and I was mixing a caramel tobacco with a menthol. That's how I quit smoking. Um, and that was how I quit smoking. I slowly started levitating towards more dessert vapes and baked good vapes. Uh, and I've kind of realized I just prefer those now. I haven't had a cigarette in, you know, going on a year. Um, but like I said, had I found this when I first quit, this is what I would have quit with. They, it tastes great. You get that um, satisfaction that you're looking for, you know, after a big meal and you light up a new port and you're just relaxed and smoking your port. Um, you get that with this Glacier Banana. Um, it's super, you know, it's got a nice throat hit. And this is the only one, let me mention that too, about the throat hit. So I recently learned that um, what throat hits are basically is the quality of the nicotine. Excluding this one right here, there is almost zero throat hit with any of these. I mean, they're super, super smooth, super rich, dense vapor, great, thick, rich flavor uh, with next to zero throat hit. I'd probably say zero. Um, the Glacier Banana, I won't really say it has a throat hit, but you do get a little, a little bit of a hit, throat hit just from the menthol, not the nicotine. So like I said, with most e-juices out there, if you get that throat hit, that's from a lower grade nicotine. Uh, this right here, you do get a little bit of that throat hit, but it's just because it's got such a good strong menthol flavor to it. But you also get the banana as well, which sweetens it up a little bit. Um, and the reason I say I'm going to do a video for this by itself is just because I would have loved when I quit smoking to be able to find, I couldn't find many uh, reviews out there of a good menthol e-juice. Uh, so anyway, maybe this would help the smokers that are, are into menthol uh, get off cigarettes. Um, so anyway, that's it. Um, like I said, this stuff is awesome. Um, uh, it's Epic Cloud 60 mil line. Let me tell you where you can get it. Uh, so like I said, there's nearly 700 different retail locations carrying this. Uh, but you can find it if you Google namberjuice.com or Pure Backo. Uh, you will be able to find this on their website. Uh, it's $24.95 uh, per 60 mil bottle, which is a steal. Uh, there's plenty of juices at my local brick and mortar that are $22, $23 for a 30 ml bottle. So to get 60 mils of a premium e-juice like these uh, for $24.95 is a fucking steal. Uh, so anyway, um, this stuff is great. I wish I could use magic to make everybody out there taste it and see how good this stuff is. Uh, like I said, I'm not getting paid for this review. Uh, they did send me these bottles uh, for the purpose of this review, uh, but if they were trash, I would tell you that they were trash, and they're not. They are great, super premium e-juice. Um, so that's it. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you uh, enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. Uh, I will provide links uh, down below to uh, uh, get this e-juice, to order this e-juice. Uh, and please subscribe to my channel, and I will have some more videos to come. Um, that's it. I am in between uh, uh, apartments right now, so you'll notice my last couple videos have been different filming areas. I'm actually staying in hotels, uh, which I've been doing for the past month or so, looking for an apartment, and I've been working a lot. Uh, but I should be in my own place within the next couple weeks, uh, so I will have a new filming location. Uh, but anyway, uh, thank you very much, and keep vaping.